Hey guys, welcome back to this video. So in this series, we are coding a website from scratch using HTML and CSS. So as a reminder, this is the website that we're going to be building. And in the last video, we built out the layout and that was kind of it. So we use CSS Courage to find that. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at this left nav bar section and we're going to be building this out. So let's get to it. So the first thing I notice is we have these three sections here. We have some social icons here. All right, so let's start with these words here. So I'm going to come back into our nav section and I'm just going to define a nav bar tag. In here, we're going to make an unordered list, and we're going to have a list item for each of our categories. So home, location, home, location, and we're hiring. We're hiring. So we're going to actually wrap each of these in a, a tag so that you can click it and then we'll just put that in there for now Let's see copy okay perfect so now we have the basic nav structure and i'm also going to wrap this image up here in a tag so you can click it and get back to the home page so let's do that and to get to the home page we're going to use a slash that will bring us to the index and paste that in there. Format a little bit. We can change this hashtag to a slash also. So now back in here, we can click on this, get to the home page, and click on this and get to the home page. So style this a little bit. If you look back here, we see they're center aligned. Looks like the one that is active has this gold yellow color along with this right border. And we have a top and bottom border. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is give this UL a class of left navbar. And we're going to give this list item here, we're going to give it a class of active. So we can style that as the active class. So over here, in our style sheet, we have our left nav column. And right below the logo, I'm going to call the navbar class left navbar. And to center this, we're going to say display block and text align center. Nope. Oops, text align. That should fix it. Perfect. There we go. And we're going to remove the list style. We don't want any bullet points. Next, we're going to style the elements. So we can do this by calling the left navbar and then li tag. And for this, looks like we want to put little padding around here, we change the font size, and it looks like they're all uppercase. So, let's see, let's start with padding, say, oops, padding 12 pixels, uh, we'll give it a text transform uppercase, and we'll give it a font size of 15 pixels. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now let's jump down to the A tag so we can style uh, some of the text a little bit more. We'll say left nav bar, L-I-A, going with that hierarchy, left nav, L-I-A. And then for here, we can say the color, we want it to be white and we don't want any text decoration. So let's get rid of that underline. There we 
we go. All right, now it's looking pretty good. So we're still missing the border on the top and the bottom and this active class. So for the border, let's go back up here to the li and we're going to say border bottom. We're going to give it one pixel solid. And there's the color. So I actually went ahead and looked at the color of this. So we don't have to do that here. And it's looking pretty good. Now we have to do border top for the first element only. So the reason I didn't just say border and do the top and the bottom at the same time is because then these inner lines would be thicker than the top and the bottom. So we don't want that. So we're going to say border bottom to get all these. Then we're going to say border top of the first element. So over here, we're going to say top nav item and then call that over here top nav item. And we're going to give you a border top of the same thing. Perfect. There we go. Now let's give some margin up here to the logo. So we get some padding right here. We can say margin. We can say 15 pixels, so that's top. And then the left is auto. Bottom will say 30 pixels, and the right is auto. So that's a shorthand for margin top, right, bottom, and left. OK, looking pretty good. So if we compare that to the original, looks like we just need to add the active. So let's go here. And right underneath here, we'll say class active. And the active class has a border right of one pixel solid. And that's the color. There we go. No, you know what? Let's actually change that to three pixels. Let's get a little thicker. There we go. That's a little better. And then the text color is the same. So dot active A for the actual text. And we'll say color. There we go. And we need to add this important so it overrides the default white. And there we go, perfect. So the active color or the active item will have that nice gold in right now. So that's looking really good. Next let's move on to these social icons. So for the social icons we're gonna use something called font awesome. So if you go over to Google you can search up font awesome CDN. First link by Bootstrap. And right here, we're going to grab this HTML. So you copy that. And in our HTML, we're going to paste that there. And this will allow us to use a bunch of icons. So let's look what we need. We need social icons, right? We need Facebook, Instagram, Google, and Yelp. So below our nav section here, let's add a div with a class of social icons and inside here we're going to have another owner on our list and a list item and this will be all of the nav items so again we're going to wrap it in a tag so we can click it put a hashtag there again because we don't have a url that we're going to go to and then we are going to use the font awesome icons so to get any icon you want, you can just search up font awesome. And then for example, we need Facebook. Here we go. And choose this one. And you can start using this icon and copy it. Then you come back here, paste it in, and change this to FA. And back on our website, there we go. We see it. Now we have to change the styling and size, but we'll get to that. So let's do this for every icon. 
Okay, there we go. So I went ahead and looked up all the icons, and they are just, they are all the same, and you just replace the name of the icon here. So now that we have that, we can see we have it here. So we need to apply some style so we can get it in this nice inline format with a little circle and change the coloring a little bit. So back in our CSS, again, still in our left nav column, we're going to say class social icons. And we're going to give it a margin top of 20 pixels just to get it away from up here. Next, we're going to say text align center, so we can get them in the center. Perfect. And then now we're going to style the unordered list. So next, we need to display the unordered list in a inline block. So call social icons ul and use our display property inline block perfect and now we can work on styling the list item so again social icons ul li and the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this block uh, dot so we'll say list style type none gets rid of that we're going to float them to the left. This will put them in the, in the same line. Perfect. And we're going to add some padding. We'll say 30 pixels from the top, 10 pixels from the right, 0 from the bottom, and 5 pixels from the left. There we go. And let's make them a little bigger with font size. Say 20 pixels. Perfect. Next, we're going to style the FA using the FA class. We'll change the background color. Change that to that. Perfect. There we go. Next, we're going to change the actual color of the icon. Five D six four six B. There we go. And again, I'm getting all these styles from the website by doing inspect. And you can see, there we go. The color is right there in the background color. Next, we're going to change the padding, 10 pixels all around, perfect. And we're going to make the width and the height the same, go with 20 pixels. There we go, that makes it a perfect square. And then to make it a circle, we're going to use the border radius property, we're going to say 50%. There we go, looking good. Next, when we hover over them, we get a little opacity change. So let's use the hover feature. So we'll say dot fa colon hover. And we can change the opacity to 0.6 when we hover. Now when we hover, there we go, change it a little bit. And that's it for this video. As you can see, we built out the left nav pretty well. And in the next video, we will take a look at the rest of this home section and build all of this out. Thanks for watching.